It's time to buy a new phone. You walk into your nearest carrier store and you probably already have an idea of what you're after. But what ultimately makes up your mind? Is it the nice, shiny hardware or did something about the software grab your attention? There's nothing wrong with either answer, but it's a question worth asking anyway. Of course, ideally, your perfect phone will get the hardware and the software right, but at the end of the day, which is a higher priority for you? Take the Galaxy S9 for example. Stock Android fans love to dump on Samsung's software, though frankly it's fine, but the software isn't necessarily why most people buy this phone, at least not entirely. Samsung puts every hardware spec under the sun into its phones. If you love wireless charging as much as I do, good news, it's here. Ditto for microSD expansion, fast charging, stereo speakers, a fingerprint sensor that finally makes sense. There's almost nothing the S9 and S9 Plus don't do. Oh, and how about that display? If there's one identifying feature of the Galaxy S9, it's easily the curved 18.5 by 9 nearly edge to edge display. It's a brilliant panel and it's just gorgeous to look at. Especially with the outburst of notches lately, the Galaxy S9 makes no compromises when it comes to design. On the other hand is a phone like the Pixel 2 XL. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing inherently wrong with the hardware, at least not anymore anyway, but beyond its front facing speakers, there's just not a lot to it. You don't get fancy wireless charging or the option for expandable storage. In fact, you don't even get a headphone jack without having to carry around a USB-C adapter. From a hardware perspective, the Pixel 2 XL just doesn't feel very special. But that's not why you buy a Pixel. Purists love the Pixel for its unadulterated software experience. There's no manufacturer bloatware or carrier cruft, just Android as Google intended it with a guaranteed first spot in line for any new updates like Android P. Sure, you can make the argument that stock Android is maybe too minimal and doesn't offer nearly as many features out of the box as a phone like the Galaxy S9, but the main argument is that you can always add on to stock Android. With pre-installed services from a manufacturer like Samsung, you can't always remove what you don't want. I think most people's first reaction would be to choose software over hardware. After all, it's how you interface with the phone, and if you're watching this channel, it's why you probably chose an Android over an iPhone. But these days, people seem more particular than ever with their hardware preferences. Some people outright refuse to buy a phone without a headphone jack. Others can't stomach the thought of a notch. Maybe you're both. Or maybe you just really want that quad DAC from the LG V30. Maybe you really don't care about your phone's hardware as long as you get smooth, responsive software. Whatever your camp, I want to know. Drop us a line in the comments below, and while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Android Central content. Thanks for watching everybody, we'll see you again soon.